Hey guys, and welcome to possibly one of the end, like one of the final episodes of our Europa Universal Scotland playthrough. I mean, London's got one place, Cornwall's sitting here looking pretty, just waiting to be annexed. It's uh, four more years and then we can start the annexation process with uh, Cornwall. And uh, yeah, everything's going pretty damn good. Uh, yeah, that makes this sort of tech cost a bit more. The Pope is currently not controlling Rome. We, as the most Catholic of nations, wow, okay, must rectify this, conquer Rome, and give the city to God's voice on earth. Wow, that's ridiculous. Who owns that? Tuscany owns that. Yeah, I can't be bothered in that. That's ridiculous. Um, incorporate Cornwall, which is going to happen, but I don't want to take it just yet because that's a long time thing. I uh, finally managed to convert the heretics of Northumberland, apparently. Let's convert Lothian. The only reason we're bloody converting them is so that we can... Oh wow, that guy's 62 years old now. We've got 90 points. England's the next one. I don't think England's going to be doing anything anytime soon. Ah, uh, let's take this guy off of Poland. So we lost our bloke. We've got an heir though. So that's good. Is he old enough? No, he's only two years old. It's unfortunate, so... Oh, I've already got him. Okay, so we'll just wait. I mean, there's nothing more that we can do right now apart from wait. Wait until London gets taken over by these rebels to see what exa exactly what happens, I suppose. Mercantilism. Leaving Scotland now, let's tend up, well, that's fine. I would, like, help them out if they wanted, but... There's not much point. Farm estate, that's an extra two. Weapons manufacturer, that's pretty decent. Naval equipment's pretty decent as well. Fine Arts Academy, stability cost goes down. Embassy, we get host we get diplomats and extra hostile co creation. Eh, you know, I'd probably just rather like a constable. <laughs> Cheers. Fling it there. <coughs> So much money that I don't even know what to do with it. Like, just one of those things. Like I said, you focus early on on getting money, and later on you just you don't even have an issue. I mean, full maintenance, we're still gaining like a load of money. Although we do have no advisors, which is an issue. Not bothered about any of those, to be honest. <coughs> well, Navy, Navy's global trade power. He has a two, and he costs nine a month. That's quite expensive. Ah, production efficiency, that sounds fun. Missionary strength, I'm sure. But production efficiency is probably going to get us more money. Um, we'll take the... Morale Navies fella. <coughs> uh, Morale of Armies, we'll take the Morale Navies guy. Might as well, we've got extra money, we need to do something with it, so... Is that Mathis that that says was the... In the HRE? No, Ma Mathias. Interesting. So hopefully within the next war with London, we shall, uh, with England rather, we will be able to vassalise them. Like, I don't know what these English peasants are going to do though, which is interesting. It's interesting as hell. We've got Welsh independence vessel, but, oh! Independent skies have arisen from Kent. I go just whip around here and bash him. There we go. New tech, we could get the Diplotech. So let's just build road networks and ground shipyards. Yeah, might as well. There we go. And I don't think we're actually ahead of time anymore. Oh no, we are. Five years. Deck feud ends. I just want to see what happens with London with these peasants. Yeah, I suppose we've always got we've got a chance of becoming a papal controller. Oh wow, we actually got the freebie as well. Wow, okay. 
That's, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm going to select that then. Become the field controller. Oh, pass the mining act. Gain mercantilism and national tax. Oh, fantastic. And he's the new pope. And can Congo be annexed yet? Nope, 94. Just keep speed 5 in it until, uh, until we can annex Cornwall and we'll see what happens in London with these English peasants. Which is absolutely hilarious to me. Um, you know what, what is our... We've got such a high naval force limit right now. Um, let's just... 5... Oh, we can just... We can literally go absolutely mental. with trade ships. There we go, we'll build one in every single province that we have. Fantastic. Uh, Kent has been called now. I can invest in the uh, land attrition lord. Nah, I think I'll leave it. I'll just get the next military tech. Ah, oh, so close. Ten revolt risk and Lothian... Yeah, might as well. I mean, if Lothian revolts, we'll just go and bash him. End of. Uh, the... Ooh, Golden Horde got the Peasants' War. That's not very nice. Fuck, okay, I think England's having a Peasants' War right now. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's so annoying. I want to see what they want. Well, I can support them. I mean, they've already revolted though, so what's the point? If the rebels gain power, they'll become your ally. Ah, oh, he's changed his lot of Spain now, has he? Not anymore. Uh, hopefully we can get the people control, that'd be good. Hey, he's loyal to the West Indies, you invested 22 in him. Fucking great. I invested zero in him, sorry, and they invested 22 in him. Uh, lose to an army tradition, fantastic. Oh no, we actually lost our, uh, our guy in the Curia. Oh, that sucks. Spain can fuck off. I've got a lot of people influence right now. Uh, we've gained a revolutionary war caster spell against England. They are ideological enemies. Oh wow, that actually, they changed their... Uh... Wow. Okay, we still have a truce with them, unfortunately. The the peasants changed their government type. It's now a, England is now a noble republic. <laughs> oh for Christ's sakes. England's having no fucking chance right now, man. Does that mean that they like what happens over here with the England the English colonies? They're still colonizing England, you may want to move your uh you may want to move your capital. Just, just give me it. Just like, give up on the UK. Oh, beautiful. Would you look at that? Um, send everyone up here to Aberdeen. Yeah. Right. Group them all. Give me the light ships. Go and protect trade in the North Sea. There you go. That's a ridiculously large naval presence that I've got. So how's the uh, how's the North Sea actually looking? Yeah, I think we've got a decent amount of uh, trade power there now. This guy's changed. I'm not even messed about with this guy. This guy's got to die soon. 
Okay. And draw just turn my out. Are we converting stuff? Yeah, we're converting loading. That's no, nearly done. Uh, Sinclair's changed his loyalty to Spain again. Wish he would quit that. Fucking Spain. Right, I can build a temple in Kent. I'll stop calling them. That's interesting. Loo -de -loo -de -loo -de -loo. Uh, I mean, we could be. Oh, France took over Burgundy. That's interesting. There's religious map mode looking. Yeah, Protestantism has been slowly eradicated from everywhere now. Apart from the HRE, which seems to have embraced it with both hands and obviously up here. Um, oh, we should be able to uh, peacefully annex Cornwall now. No, nope. Oh, it's the 5th of April. Oh well. We'll just wait until April then, I suppose. How's this doing? Plus two years. I suppose we can just keep a hold of it just now. An alliance from Burgundy. Wow, Burgundy. Wow. No. You're pretty fucked there, mate. I've still got a truce against them. How long is it? 94. That's well, December 94. Um, and 5th of April. Here we go. Start annexing them. Perfect. How long is that going to take, actually? 1604. Oh, 10 years. That's not bad, actually. Oh, Christ. Quit it, Spain. Fair. It's December. Free military leader, let's hire one. Yeah, let's hire one so that we're not using a, a guy for battles. Because the fucking game's dumb when it does that. Uh, spare no expenses, because. Right, the reason I picked spare no expenses is I actually seen someone who's actually rather intelligent not do this. Right, you gain 0.5 inflation, it costs you 50 admin power. And you get 50 admin power. To reduce inflation, it costs 75, and you reduce it by 2. So it just makes, it makes so much sense. Plus our inflation is going down naturally just now, so... It just makes so much sense. It's just idiotic not to, basically. Um, And in December we'll start attacking England. Because unfortunately we can't annex them. And we can't vassalise them because they've got subjects of their own. Oh nice, one of our guys became... Oh nice, it was a guy we were fighting with Spain with. Nice, so when Spain's guy dies we should get in. Or if Gilbert gets elected, which would be nice. I told you that old guy from uh, Poland was, was out. I mean, our guy's only 42, that's pretty good. This guy's 66 though, unfortunately. Hey, England's been called. And Glamorgan should be called very soon. Gilbert's changed his lately to England. Well, I'll keep fighting you for it. Um, okay, London. We're going to declare war on you. To take your capital. Just so you know. And, uh, yeah. Good luck with that. So, we will take that. And just move the rest of the men out. No lead on there actually. Hmm. Okay, select the army, give me one cannon. Thanks. Ah, we'll drop a guy there. Actually, we'll drop a leader there because he's got a three fucking siege. And he'll allow us to take us so much quicker. Why does it say that we've got no morale? Ah, oh, the value of the infantry troops. Got you. Oh, let's just pop you out there. I forgot all about that. There we go, and we should take London very soon. 
The end of the Peasants' War and Stability. Oh well, good on you. I'll just move you guys there. Done. The war goes to take their capital and we are controlling their capital. So there's not much else for us to do. I mean, we could just stick you guys there. Uh, to blockade that other place that they've got, but other than that, there's not much we can do. Can get this, but still one year ahead, so there's no point. It's just a waste. And uh, with the conquest of London, I don't know if we can take the capital or what exactly happens. Oh, I can get admin tech though, which is nice. Can I build a town hall and a treasury? Great. Netherlands is fighting the Akin. Yeah, okay, we'll accept it. I'm not going to help you, but we'll accept it. I'm not going to help you unless you start losing, of course. Um, so what What can we get off this? So we can actually take London off them. That is beautiful. It's like, yeah, we're taking your capital. And what of it, bitch? <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. And that is all because of... Is it this one? Revolution and counter-revolution. Permanent gas is better versus other government types. And we can take this and get quantity ideas. I mean, that's what I was going to get, but, like... I don't see much point now. I'm um, also going to get this as soon as... Yeah, there we go. So, oh no, we don't control this guy. Ah, yes, sneaky wee England. Um, we'll come and help you once our war's over. National revolt risk, but lower national tax, so we can lose. Oh, we'll lose the stability. I don't really care about stability now. We're still having revolt risk possible. Oh, it's in London. Never mind then. Do 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 do. I go, we're just waiting on them being happy enough to accept it. No, not white peace. We're taking London. <laughs> Fucking white peace. I'm going I know I've uh, I know this video is running a bit long, but I'm gonna keep it running. Until we manage to take London. And we're annexing Cornwall at the same time as well, so that'll be done by sixteen oh three. I'll take the Gallius. That's fine. It's only England that's like, even close. We'll just bump another couple of points in. It's only England that's even close to taking that guy, and uh, let's just say that England are having a couple of issues right now. <laughs> ah, it's fine. Netherlands will win that one. I don't even need to do anything. That would cost me 21 diplo power and give me 48 overextension, which is ridiculous. And France and Portugal won't like me very much, but <laughs> what do I care? Fuck France, fuck Portugal. We are the UK. Soon, anyway. So that'll be done very soon, and do 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 do. I'm, I'm honestly so happy with the end of this. It's like this might be a, like, a bumper episode. There we go. Oh, we can inflation. Of course we will. Peasants have risen, risen up. Eh, kindly fuck off. Fucking peasants. Fucking English peasants, what are they like? Oh, and would you look at that? Send a man to take London off you. Beautiful, thank you very much. And let's get a core on London. Beautiful. National decisions available from the British nation? No. Oh, I need to have called it. And I need to be at peace when we're currently at war. That's fine. Uh, just drop you back off at Norfolk. 
Oh well, we need to piece them anyway. Uh, we need to piece them. We need to uh, core them. Um, let's build some farm estates, I suppose. Whatever. Know what I mean. Two, uh, two point three. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we can build armories and such, but at this point, we can build here in loading. Build a regimental camp, yeah, sure. How can it be possible? We lost some better relations over time, that's a shame. No, we've got a revolt in London. Fucking peasants, they're revolting. English patriots. Let's just sit on there. What else could we build? Oh, we can build some temples. Hey, I like temples. Oh, London doesn't even have a temple. That's ridiculous. It's just got such a high base tax, it's just madness. There we go. Netherlands pieced out. There we go, so we'll just pe speed 5 in until we get the core and until Cornwall's been integrated. It's taking forever. That's speeding up though. If we get some Diplo rep then it'll be a, a fair bit quicker. So, we already have a decent amount of Diplo rep due to that. But, uh, yeah. Still 10 years ahead of time in the front lock musket. Well, it's all decline. We can grab Levy on mass soon. I think I'll grab that. Extra manpower. Always good. One more month, there we go. Grab Levy on mass, yes. Extra 50% manpower. Which means our manpower raises so quickly. Right, this is getting us a lot of money as is. Ah, oh, Gilbert. Poor, poor Gilbert. Who's the youngest? Oh, that'll be 51 year old man here. Bit of shame, but why? Oh, it's a bit crap losing a guy without him getting into the curia, but what are you going to do about it, eh? The uh, core construction is almost done, and then we can click that button. It's almost been two bloody episodes. Uh, nope. Nope! I can build improvements. I can build a constable in Gwynedd. What are you building? Oh, I was building something big. And London has been cored. Let's uh, drop the speed down slightly. Ugh, you're fucking cardinal again. And we've got national decisions that are available to form the British nation. We gain revolt, but also gain national tax welfare. And Great Britain gains a claim on the British Isles. Bum ba da bum! Look at that. Look at that. Did it move our capital? Yes, it did. Fucking awesome. Great Britain formed by the Scottish. And um, we just need to take Cornwall over and I'll be happy. So, speed 5. Hurry up, Cornwall. English is no longer accepted. Is that because everyone is... I don't know. That's strange. English, Scottish, Irish and Welsh. Welsh isn't accepted, which is strange. It's not an accepted culture in Great Britain. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah, you know, Welsh just, you know, isn't an accepted culture in Great Britain. <laughs> oh, it's a black day for the courier. So what happens with their ideas then? Oh, we still get, um... We still get Scottish ideas. That's quite cool. I was actually wondering what happened with that. 
So it's all Scottish stuff that we get. But uh, we're now British. I don't know why English isn't accepted, that's really weird. Uh, it's good to be British. I'm quite happy with the little symbol. Um, actually, what I want is my big trade fleet to go and protect trade in London because that will give us a lot more money. Because London's an ender. Uh, and the North Sea actually feeds down, does it? Yes, it does. So what I want you to do is come back and transfer the trade power down. Yes. There we go. Transfer it down to London, where we can make loads of money. Yeah, we've pretty much got this entire trade node just dominated. And we're just waiting on the annexation of Cornwall before we've got the entire of the, the British Isles to ourselves. But take your time, Cornwall, you know. Something that I, I like and I think is funny is that I've just formed the British Isles, but England's still kicking about. <laughs> uh, it's just funny, because of that uh, CB allowing you to take their capital off them, like normally that wouldn't happen, normally you'd have to completely wreck England. But, just waiting on... Waiting on this annexation coming in. 0.99 a month. High Diplo rep and high base. So this national tax modifier down. For 20 years? All this stability and those people influence. A lot of ducats though. Um, nah, they cleared up. We'll lose the stability. It's fine. I'll just boost it back up again. I like having positive stability. Well, basically, the higher stability you can have, the better. Because it gives you the increased, uh, the increased money. The increased national tax modifier that you get. I really didn't realise that this was going to be so long. Gloucestershire. Oh, you, you Catholic. Oh, Welsh? Cornwall's Welsh? That's weird. It's not in Wales. <laughs> it's in England. Just strange that that's Welsh. National decisions available. There's a papacy going. My oh, phone's taking that off me again. Yeah, I don't think. What the hell? The English West Indies with the Curia controller? That's just odd. Leader's harder to find. No doubt it will improve. We're losing stuff. How's our score anyway? We're sixth in admin and fourth in military. Well, Diplo is not very good. Integration is a slow process. There we go. Done. Look at that. Great Britain. Great Britain has been conquered. Fantastic. All right, guys. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna call the series an end here. So we've succeeded what we kind of went out to do. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. And if you have enjoyed this, just remember to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye bye.